Uh, number one, I'm totally fine with it. Uh, in fact, I have been saying for some years that the previous citizen committee, I thought had pegged the mayor's salary a bit too high, but I also wanted to respect that it's a volunteer committee and councillors shouldn't set their own salaries up or down, which is why every year I've donated a big percentage of my salary to charity because I did think it was too high. I just shouldn't mess with the citizen committee. So I'm totally fine with it. Um, and the citizen committee has a very good rationale uh, for why they're recommending it, uh, so all good. Uh, number two, I do think, however, that the process that we have with the Citizen Committee is the right process. Council can always refuse or amend it if they want to, but it's sort of like the old days of negative option billing, uh, and I think that's the right way to go. I don't think Council should vote on it every year because it ends up then being political and it, it undermines the work of the Citizen Volunteer Committee, in my opinion. So I suggest that that is actually not a good recommendation, uh, that one from the committee. I think if the committee is confident in their recommendations, and they are, that they shouldn't need that extra political check from Council. I don't think politicians should be setting their own salaries except in extraordinary circumstances and it makes more sense to just abide by the committee's recommendations, I think. And the third question that you didn't ask me, but I'm gonna give you a bonus, is I actually didn't know the extent of this transition allowance until very recently. I, I didn't even know that existed. Um, so I am uh, not at all upset about getting rid of it I am, however, going to suggest to my colleagues on council that this is something that's been bugging me for a while, is that we are not very um, humane with people who are leaving office at the last minute in terms of helping them work out their benefits, helping them figure out outplacement work, even giving them assistance in cleaning up and moving out their offices. So that just pegged in my mind that there is probably a need before this election to clean up our policies around what transition looks like for people who are leaving or who lose an election, but I'm not particularly opposed to ending that allowance that I never even knew existed.